Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Running Red. In the last episode it was a bit of a, a longer episode than I wanted to, to be because I got blown up, but well, I didn't get blown up, but the, the, the spawner here did get blown up a bit and it took a while to repair. Now, today I want to go a little bit off topic. What I'd like to do is first of all make these. I finished off these things. If I should be able to simply right click this take the torch off and there we have a pair of boots and I can right click those I think but wrong button again as usual if I take these boots off which are the featherfall ones and right click those they should now be in place and these actually have um, they take all the all the damage I think they do full damage as well because you can't um, enchant these at all but what I want to do is actually go and do some more enchanting stuff I've got some more scented hives so let's go and get those let me get the scoop I think a scoops in is one of these places here and let's just collect this hive that's grown if I can get past I also moved the um, sludge boiler down in there because it was getting me every time. Where has it gone to? Here. So if we scoop this up here and put in its place another hive, let's see what happens to that. We could put another one over here just to keep. Uh, okay. The harvest is just doing a bit of pruning on... Oh, it's in this tree too. Actually, I didn't expect it to do that. I thought it was out of range. And that was my older sapling. Oh, my older tree. Wow. Okay. So we should, if we're lucky, see an older sapling in this chest over here. Oh, eight. Oh, very good. We'll plant another one. A nice, they're actually attractive trees. So no problem planting one of these somewhere. Let's plant it back where it was. And put this one's back. What we've also got in here, of course, now we've got some older wood and some spruce and spruce trees. I've got 13 snowballs. And what I'm going to do with those snowballs is to f make this glacier. Um, Glacial Precipitator, I think it's called, which is in here. And I need one more block of snow. Well, let's do that first of all. Block of snow is simply four snowballs. Ah, I will take those out. I don't think I want it that way. The time being, I'll put this over here. And now I can take a Glacial Precipitator out of here. And with that, we can do things like make ice, which is really what I want to do. So where would we put this? I suppose at the end here to start with. And I suppose it needs water. Mm-hmm. Okay, and power, of course. Maybe that's not the best place to put it. Hmm. I'll think about that. In a second, I would like to put it actually where the other water supply is, so... Maybe I have to move things a little bit around. It's also time to grind a few more mobs. Because I want to think about getting the altar upgraded to tier 4. And for that, I would like to have some more runes. That must be a baby zombie. I'll have to keep doing it as I go eventually. One more half a heart. There we go. And another spider up there, which we should actually get rid of because they actually prevent other mobs dropping down. Don't want to stay too close to that. No, eating. So now I think I can remove this so large of armor forge. I don't think I need it any for anything else for the time being. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm just making some imbued slates here. And the reason I'm making imbued slates is I want to make some ruins of dislocation. How much have we got in there at the moment? Probably not enough. We need oh, plenty. We, got five. we need 5,000 for, for one slate. 
as I discovered earlier on, because I hadn't uh, got enough in there. Let's take those out of that. And then we can put the stuff we don't want in the... Oh look, yes, pristine stock forest, that's a good B. But I didn't actually get any drones, that's interesting. But I did get another honeycomb. In fact, I think that's already turned into an imbued slate. It has, so now I shall put the magicians all back in and gain some more energy into the network. Right. So it's sort of one of those background jobs making slates. So I've got another reinforced slate, another blank slate, and so on and so forth. So today what I'd like to do is to make some of the machines to deal with enchantments. So the first thing I'm going to make is an auto disenchanter. I'm not quite sure it's got a space or not. It's sort of jukebox spawner disenchanter this one. So that's two diamonds, one redstone reception coil, which is the easy one to make. Let's get rid of these. Yes, I've got plenty of redstone. I was just looking it for it. Okay, so the disenchanter is also anvil as well. Is this recipe? What do we need? Another brick and um, plastic. Okay, I might have that already prepared as it happens. Now I've got things in here. Let's just do this recipe in here because it's easiest. The wrong one. What is this enchanter? So there's two diamonds, a red rust. We've got we've got plenty of those already. Some books. Let's go and get the books. One thing I do have at the moment is plenty of um, not enough string. Only one book in there, so I'll make some more quickly. In fact, I'll do about let's do eight. Can't count, can I? There we go. And with those, we shall make split those like this. Split those like that and make some of those. So we've got 19, actually 20 would be a good better number. So let's just do this. That'll make one more. That's what I want. So we have 20 of those, which we think we put down like this. We need some string and some paper, plenty of paper. Now I've got run out of paper, we'll just take another one of those and get, make some more paper and get some string at the same time. Should have plenty of string. I'm not sure, of course, which chest I've put it in. I have 47, that's plenty. So let's make some paper. Plenty of paper now. Uh, we shall put the other one up here. Oh no, I don't keep that anymore in there. Because it was full. And go to the right crafting station. So we just need some more paper and some string. And that will give me a good set of ten books, which is going to be necessary. Creeper plant seeds. Ordinary seeds. Let's shove the ordinary seeds over here. And what I've also done is put a little pipe down. Oops, wrong one. They ain't going to work. But these should squeeze up nicely and make a bit more. And in here, actually, I think I do have to use a, a server. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just activate it. Oh, it is already done. Let's activate this. And just disable the redstone control so that's on. So this is now filling it with seed oil which is what we need in order to make the next part of this. That's, but that's on the side, we'll leave that for the time being. I wanted to get rid of the snowballs, I don't need those with me. So what do we need? Books, that was right. And diamonds, two diamonds. Put the two diamonds up here, put the books up here. And another, another brick. 
Okay, have I got another brick? Yes, I'd already prepared that. So now I can take a, an auto disenchanter. And what we do with this thing, though, in fact, before I do that, of course, I go and get some more fluid air conduits. I think they're in here. I just don't know. I've only got one left. Okay. And I'm going to move this glacial precipitator for the time being because it's really where I want it, but I need to find a better place for it. There we go. So now what I can do is I can now put in items in here and books. Oh, I forgot the books. Let's go get the books. They're still in the workbench, aren't they? Okay, eight books. Let's take eight books from here and put some items uh, and put them in here. Now, what's going to happen is these are going to get enchanted and end up somewhere else. So, what we now have to do is to take an item that we want. Say, let's say this one here is a very efficient, a good pickaxe. Don't want to do that on the pickaxe. Let's say I want efficiency five. So if, let's say if I put that in here, I think it should disenchant. Have I done something wrong with this? Ah, oh, there we go. So the books go in here and come down there. I thought there was something looking weird there. Anyway, it takes quite a bit of power. But the power network at the moment is okay. We've got plenty of blood in there. But we should just make sure we get a bit more. I will automate this when I get to tier 4 so that I don't have to keep doing this but it's very useful for XP and we're going to need a lot of XP for doing the next activities just a quick check up there oh, no spiders, let's get back so eventually when this is work is completed we'll have a book with one of these two enchantments. Now, the next thing to make is a printing press. So let's have a look. How do we do a printing press? It's this one, Bibliocraft. So it's blocks of iron, one weighted pressure plate, two iron ingots, a blaze rod. So we have most of that stuff already. Oh, we've even got one of those, that's amazing. Let's take some blocks of iron, we've got plenty of those. And we need an iron pressure plate, I guess that's just two ingots. One blaze rod, and these must be ingots at the top, I didn't check. And let's just take these away. Escape. And I should be able to make that in my self crafting, crafting mechanism, there we go. And we have one printing press. And we also need to make these printing chases. So the recipe for those, oops, if I didn't press the wrong right button, was R, is one ingot with four slabs around, very straightforward. So the next thing we need, this is to print. Let me have forgotten what I need actually. Let's have a quick look. This be at Bibliocraft. It's a new printing press, that's the printing press. It's a typesetting table, that's the one. So that's why we need these. So that's a fairly straightforward recipe too. Have we got any wood in here? Yes, I have good. Let's make a quick set of slabs because we need those. Oh. One redstone. Two slabs. Two iron ingots. If I actually get the right place, and one of those, and then we have the type sitting table. It's back. Oh, I had plenty of slabs. So what we do with these now is just put these down somewhere. Let's find an appropriate space. Well, I reckon around here is okay because all of this is fully automated. I 
don't think it'll try to harvest this stuff. We just never know. <laughs> I've had that before. And what you do, this is the table you actually extract books from. So we need to put books in one side of this table here. So by now I reckon that one of these has been enchanted, it has. So we put this back up here. So we've got unbreaking three. And then we shall get a second book when this is completed. And of course we need plenty of power in the system. So that means our power source just needs a bit of harvesting. Make sure we have plenty of blood in the altar that will then seep into the tanks. Look for a bit of XP floating around. Got it. Probably got a lot of junk in me as well. Bone. Uh, some golden boots. In fact, I could use those boots to repair these boots. Let's do that. Because gold is actually supposed to be a good material for enchanting. You're supposed to get good enchants with those ones. So, for instance, here I've got all sorts of goodies on these steel leggings, like Protection 4, Flim Flam 1, which I actually must admit I don't know what it is, and um, Steel Chest Break Protection 3 and Breaking 3. And Breaking 3 is max. Protection four, protection five is max, so you can then double up this one and get that one, so to speak. Or we can simply go and enchant. Here's a last stand one and protection two. You can use that on your on normal armor. So where was I? Oh, is this thing actually mature? No, that's taking an exceedingly long time. Right, the books. Back to this job at hand. So here I've got... Oh, I need reading glasses too. Or a monocle. Straight enough. I made one. Monocle. Public bibliocraft. What I do is you put that in your head... In your helmet slot. And then you can see... You know, look. I'm really daft for that. Never mind. And then you can see that the writing on the, chair, on the wall, as it were. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we need some more books. Let's take the ones out of here. All right. Let's take three, because three is what you can get from one press. So now I've got an efficiency four. And a golden pickaxe that is now broken, or half broken, because it damages it as we do it. So I'll put the pickups up there for the next time. Now I've got 20. XP on I me, mean, that's probably not enough. So what I need to do now is to put this book, well the one I want to do is not I'm breaking because that's already a maximum, is the efficiency. So I want to double the efficiency. So I simply put this book in the slot here. And here he tells me I need 31 levels. So to, to take that off there. So let's go and get 31 levels. Open hand on this, so you should be able to simply right click and get 31. And with that, what we do here now, so we put a book. I don't know how I did that, that's quite, quite clever. I need the plate. So the first thing I need are these plates, I think. Yes, printing plates. And I simply put those here, like that, seven chases. And then, I think you right click the book. Nope, I don't right click the book. I'll right click the, is it shift right click the book? Yes, that's right. Shift right click, and then you get a type setting chase. So this chase is efficiency four. So what we want to do now is to print some books. So we put the books on here. Try again. Let's put the books into 
where I wanted them in the first place. That's here. And you put those books down there, and you put the chase in the middle. And here we are, like that. And it tells you here efficiency four. Then the last thing we need is some ink, and that's where the ink sacks come from. Where have I put those ink? Remembering too well, probably in one of the this chest. I think it's not in here actually. Oh well, there's 43 in here. That should be fine. Some more over there if I need some. I think all I have to do is to put those on here. Or is it just ink? I maybe have to put them in a bottle. Yes, that sounds reasonable. So let's make. Let's look up ink. There's lots of ink, isn't there? Because it's sort of right. It's also got pink in the name. And I think we need an ink bottle. Plenty of pages to look through too. Let's have a try that again. Um, maybe a bottle would be better. Here we go. So a glass bottle, and then I need an ink bottle. I'm sure it. I'm sure of it. So we'll make some glass bottles first of all. That's three pieces of glass. That's three glass bottles. And if I'm not mistaken, all I have to do. Nope. Let's have a look. Use, let's go uses for this thing here. Railcraft signal block. Might be shaped crafting. It's not a cool and pen. It's not that one. Interesting to see we could do that. Like die. Let me unlock fabricator. I think it's unshaped crafting as it happens. Shape crafting. Try again. Well, a few pages of this. It's not going to help me very much, is it? I don't think it's. Well, let's try unshaped crafting. That's die, that's black wool. That's a magic pencil. Light, this is just basically colour. I'm sure I can do it that way. Just a second, let me go and do some research. It is insects that I need, I just put the insects in on the table. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Let's try that again. Maybe we just have to do it in exactly the right position. Let's jump up here and then try putting the ink sacks on here. I'm sure that's where they go. Ah, there we go. This time I managed to do it. It's just a positional thing where we can now see 42 ink in here. And two books. And here we have one book. Take that book out. And it'll do it again. Another book. And with these two books now, what we can do is we can come along here to the auto and well, to the anvil actually, we'll just see what it costs. We put that one here and this one here. We'll get a new book with an enchantment cost and it gives me efficiency five. And I think if I remember rightly, efficiency five is impossible to actually Get you have to do it this way. How oh, does it not work on the auto envelope? Well, that's weird. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go and get four XP. Oh, I need an empty hand, don't I? Come back to the anvil, the standard anvil. I thought it would work with the auto anvil too. There we go. So now I have an efficiency five book. So what we can then do is we can then go and put that on a tool. So for example, let's go and get a, let's go make a diamond pickaxe. I know I had a bit of trouble with the last one, but uh, I, it's pretty good to have a, a really fast pickaxe anyway. And uh, I want to also make it unbreaking. So now we have to go and find out how much that costs. So let's put this on here. So it costs nine. I have to take them out of the anvil before I go and get the nine XP. Otherwise, it just float. Empty hand. I 
but it makes more sense to replicate the efficiency fire book first, which I'd almost forgotten to do. So let's put the the book the efficiency fire book in here. That's the one. And then we want to then how many levels? We need forty levels. So now we've got to go and get forty levels. This is why you need a lot of it. XP. I'm not even sure I've gone to have fourteen. It probably will do. So we simply right click that. No shift right click, wasn't it? Was it not shift right click? Yes. To shift right click. Take this out of here. Put this into here. If I can. Oh, wrong one. I want, don't want the book. I'm breaking three. I want the, the chase. Efficiency five. Now we take this book out away. You see, this is the where well, you can't see. No, we need some more books. And the books should be in here. Let's take all three of those out because we would like to have three. And we've put those three books running out of inventory space as per usual. As soon as we get the first enchanted one, we can take it off and then go and enchant the pickaxe. There we go. Oops. Now we need nine, didn't we? So let's just move that out of the way. Looking a bit lower. Nine. So we can then go and put those. In fact, they could do this on the auto anvil. Probably better. Let's just do this in the auto anvil. So we want the F breaking three is actually a good one, but efficiency five and pickaxe. Oh, other way around. So it's now efficiency five pickaxe. If I wanted to increase or make it unbreaking, I don't think this works. Oh, it does. So I've got an unbreaking three pickaxe. But I actually didn't copy that book. But it doesn't matter that much. I've got plenty of unbreaking three devices here. We've got one for this bow, for example. And I've got another bow, which I also got with well, a punch two on it. So now we have a, a fairly efficient diamond pickaxe that we can be able to break things quite easily with. But, of course, being like everything else, it's time to harvest a bit some more blood. Fill that by network again. A few bangs this time, but only only keep us giving seeds away. Now, as you get towards the end, they stop checking up there for spiders. There's a spider up there. Let's go get that spider. Oops. Another spider. Got the spider as well, that was quite good. I'm a little bit near, I don't want to be quite so near, just check up there. There's definitely another spider up there, you can just see it doing sort of strange movements. I'll get it. And we'll get rid of the junk so we don't need those, those and something else that's dropped down here. What else do I not want? I think that's okay. I'll get rid of this stuff as well. We don't really want all of that in the hopper, but it's good that the hopper catches it. I think there's some rotting flesh I wanted to do, if that's the one I wanted to get rid of. I'm going to put the head over here. I've got a lot of heads, but I'm not... What you don't get is actually any skeleton heads. You get 
zombie heads and creeper heads, but no. And where the hell, where the, that was from going to the nether to do that. And I've also got a very broken bow here. Let's just fix this one up. Wrong one. Well, actually, I want to take this out of there because that's also getting a bit full. Everything gets so full. And I'm never 100% sure what I actually really need. Let's put that one up there with the bow. And I've got three more arrows. Okay, I'll keep the arrows. Really, should put them in the other place for the mind. That's good. In fact, let's put this in. Let's put the 64 iron dust in there. Right. So that was really the disenchantment and enchantment bit I wanted to show. So the next thing I want to do.